The fight between neighbors ends with a woman in jail. It wasn't a physical fight. It was a fight over a very small piece of their yard. The woman in jail is 67. She's been there for more than a month now. It's really a crazy story. The fight dates back five years. It's since been resolved, yet no one knows when she could eventually get out of jail. 11 Lives Doug Richards explains how this happened. All new at six. Um, and then on the other side of the screen, that's his property. Yes, sir. First, the property dispute. It's a 15 foot wide strip of overgrown grass in a semi rural area on the north side of Conyers. My grandfather lived here. Darlene Sylvie says her family has owned it for 50 years, including the house where her mother lived. This section of property um, is lost in my chain of title. Okay. Joshua Arnold, who lives next door, thought he bought the strip 11 years ago. But I definitely can't prove right now that it's mine. You're talking about this little strip? Yeah, here. this little 15 feet. What's so special about this strip of land? I don't know. Both families agree the dispute has elevated irrationally. I don't want to deal with it. She's hit me with a rock before. She's tried to run me over with the lawnmower. And she said he had held up a weed eater at her like he wanted to cut her face up. I've been harassed. I've been stalked. I've been violated. And she's how old? 67. And her criminal record? She doesn't have a criminal record. Last month, Arnold called a sheriff's deputy to the property. The deputy locked up 67-year-old Dorothy Davis for aggravated stalking, violating a restraining order taken out by Arnold. She had she was upset and she got too close to him. Yes. Davis has been in jail for a month. This week, a superior court judge refused a request to let the 67-year-old post bond. She owned this property from the very beginning and always has. What's tragic, Sylvie says, is that the property dispute is essentially over. A new property survey shows that disputed property, in fact, belongs to the jailed woman. That she was right all along. This is her property. She should have never even been in this position. Arnold says he is scared of the jailed woman, who is 29 years his senior. I'm in fear. Dorothy Davis's daughter says she, too, is afraid. If and when her mother gets out of jail, she thinks she may be too afraid to come live alone at her home here in Conyers. All right, Doug, thank you.